Joining me now by satellite from Chattanooga to discuss this looming scandal and misuse of taxpayer funds is a woman who represents the 7th District of Tennessee in Congress, Representative Marsha Blackburn. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. I think you can hear that our audience is pretty, uh, well, let's just say pretty fired up about this. And I want to say, I think they all agree with me. Thank you for joining in an effort to get this fixed. But how in the world Thank you. Did, did this ever happen, that there was this slush fund that got put together? Well, it appears that it came about in 1995. We don't know who put it in there, but since that point in time, the Office of Compliance has had this fund that they have worked from to settle claims. Now, some of these claims are with the Capitol Police or with the Office of um, architect of the Capitol, you're going to have them used for different ways. But Mike, the point is that this money, there has not been transparency or accountability, even if it were something for the Americans for Disability Act or asbestos or the egregious sexual harassment uh, suits. Now, what we are finding out, and I will tell you, Greg Harper, who is the chairman of the House Administration Committee, uh, a member from Mississippi is doing a great job trying to straighten this out and clean it up. And he is soon going to have a, a better audit and accounting of what has happened here. What we do know is there have been 268 different various claims that have been settled over a period of time from 95 forward. We do know that some of this money was used for sexual harassment claims. We don't know exactly how many. We know in recent years, the past, I think, three years, there's only been one sexual harassment claim. But we look forward to finding out about it. And of course, moving forward our legislation, uh, the Congressional Accountability and Hush Money Elimination Act and getting that taken care of, signed into law, and this problem addressed before the end of the year. This, this is one of the few things I've seen in a long time in Congress that is getting bipartisan support. Republicans, Correct. Democrats working together. Tell us some of the people, because I think they're heroes. Congressman Ron DeSantis out of Florida is who is the lead on this. He is the original author on this bill. Then I was joined by Jim Cooper, who is out of Nashville as a Democrat, and also two female Democrat members, Tulsi Gabbard out of Hawaii, and Kathleen Rice, who is out of New York. And, and I know that Kathleen Rice has actually called for the resignation of John Conyers of Michigan, which I thought was incredibly bold because that was, I'm, certain, I'm sure, not very popular in her caucus. But, but this is something that has risen above anybody's politics. Just today, we found out that a Republican member of Conyers, Blake uh, Farenthal from Texas, uh, was responsible for engineering an $84,000 payout to a member of his staff uh, over a lawsuit that involves sexual harassment. Should he step down? You know, I, I think that what we have to do is first of all, get our legislation signed and secondly, make certain that we know who has used this. What this legislation would do would require those individuals who have used this fund to pay it back with the interest and then what we would seek to do is to change this process. It is ridiculous that there is this fund that is set aside that is used for this. We would eliminate the fund. And there should be no personal bailouts for people with bad behavior. And it is time for that to be dealt with separately. This is not something that should be taken place. Think about this. What if you're a parent? and your child goes to Washington, D.C. to work, and they have an unpleasant experience or a hostile work environment, and then all of a sudden, this has to be all done in secret and has to be handled through that Office of Compliance, and they have to sign a non-disclosure if they're going to receive a settlement. It is completely inappropriate. So what we're saying is, Let's do away with that fund and people that have used it, they need to pay the money back with interest. 
Well, I think we all agree. And I want to say thanks to you and your colleagues for trying sure. to get this fixed for all of our sake. Our thanks to you, Congressman Marsha Blackburn, and uh, delighted to have you with us. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Governor. So good to be with you. Thank, Thank you. you. And if you are outraged with taxpayer funds being used to hide sexual harassment and other misdeeds by elected officials, I strongly encourage you to write or call your congressman right away. Let them know you're not having it anymore.